Hello, Cup Coders, and welcome back to Mage Quest. I am your host, Mages96. Um, let's see, announcements. What do I have? Um, oh, Psalm Crafter, uh, the application that I've been building for Android. Uh, got a little bit of news about that. Um, obviously, you know, I got the first release out there, it worked fine. I found some bugs in it, so I tried to fix the bugs and update it. But when I tried to publish the update, Google rejected the update because it doesn't like the name of the application. Apparently, it seems to think that Thaumcrafter is entirely too close to Thaumcraft. So I'm contacting Azazanor to ask for permission to use the name Thaumcrafter. Um, if I can't, then what I would like from you guys are suggestions of names. So put it in the comments below. Tell me what you think I should name the app. Uh, keep in mind, I kind of have to follow along with certain Google file naming tr crap. I mean, Thomcraft cannot be the first name, first word of the name, apparently. And it's going to have to be, you know, researcher of Thomcraft or some crap like that, which, by the way, I do not like that name. <laughs> Just so you know, I've already thought of it and I was like, nope, that's not going to work. I don't want that. It's too complex. So anyways, yeah, leave, leave me a comment below. Tell me what you think the name should be. Um... I really don't know what I'm going to do. Well, I mean, if I like your name, I'll pick it and I'll use it. And that'll be the name of the application. I don't have any prizes to give out or anything like that. Um, as, also, as you all are aware, Thomcrafter, or <laughs> the soon-to-be-renamed Thomcrafter, is being developed for Android. I do not currently have everything I need for developing it for iOS. A friend of mine is actually going to be bringing me a new, or <laughs> a Mac... It's an older Mac that it, it's kind of broken a little bit. I have to have it connected to a monitor because the screen built into this, I think it's like a Air, Mac Air or something like that. But the screen is cracked and can't, or he says he can't replace it or maybe I can replace it, whatever. But he's giving it to me for free. Only requirement is I've got to give him a copy of all the files that he has on it. No sweat, right? I can hook this sucker up to a monitor and get it working, I believe. So I'll have a Mac. So the only thing I need left in order for me to develop for iOS, really, is <laughs> an iPad or an old iPhone. And it doesn't have to be a newer model. I mean, it can be an older version. So what I'm asking is if any of you have an older iPad or an old iPhone that you are not using anymore and you don't want it and it's just wasting space around your house and you've been, heck, you've been thinking about throwing it away, contact me send me an email send me a tweet let me know that you have it um i would be willing i might be willing to even pay for it but you know if you're willing to donate it to me whatever however we want to just work it out just contact me make me an offer and we'll see where, what, where we can go from there um, but i am definitely in the market looking for an old ipad or an iphone that i can use to re to pretty much recompile farm crafter and some of my other applications for for that market, for those devices, so that I, everybody gets gets to use it. I mean, that's my goal is I, I want these applications to be out there for everyone to use. And I targeted Android because Android's easy. I can do Android simply. It wasn't going to cost that a whole lot. Um, that's part of the want reason. Uh, the other part of the reason is because, well, Android is the bulk of the market. I mean, if you do the, do your research, you'll find that, you know, iOS only shares maybe 5 to 10% of the total mobile market, whereas the rest of it is mostly Android. And then there's like 2% sliver that is for Windows Phone or something like that. That's from the last research thing that I looked at. Uh, I'm, it may be off. It may be different. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just telling you what the research was when I looked for it. It's Android was the, was the lion's share of the market. So that's kind of why I targeted that. Um, iOS is the next largest market share, and I would like to be able to target that. I'm just kind of lacking the funds of buying the equipment. It's just That's really all that it comes down to. Um... That's about it. Uh, I guess you know the rest of my news is for the server, and I will obviously announce that on Wizard Training because it's on the server, and this show is not. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. I think I did install. Let me think. I think I installed some other mod. Hold on. Let's go look. This fire resistance thing. Get off. All right. Look. I'm gonna take that. Oh. Let's take that off. Let's get this stuff off. Let's take everything off. Oh, there it is. That's where it is. 
Okay. Uh, get rid of that effect over there so we can see what we got. Mods! I do believe it's not working. Don't fight with me. Thank you. All right, so you see I do have BiblioCraft installed. I have installed that. Uh, what was the other one? Um, do, 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 do. Each. Hopper Ducks. I have also installed Hopper Ducks, so I will be able to use my Hopper Ducks on this server now, on this game now. I, I went ahead and installed those because, well, I freaking like them. Those are some of my favorite mods. I've liked, uh, I've come to like them, and well, I'm pro excuse me, hiccups. I'm probably going to keep those on every mod pack that I play. I'm just going to add them in, whatever, you know? I mean, that's a great thing about mod packs. As unless, you, unless you're playing on a server, add whatever the heck you want to it and play. All right, well, with that said, let's get to doing that. Let me start the timer. Click. Timer is tick 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 ticking away. Oh, jeez, go away. All right, so what is that? Let's go ahead and put this back on because, you know, that's supposed to give me protection. I have not tested that. I want to test that. I do. I want to test that. I want to see if that'll protect me from lava. But that's that's risky. Risque. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about I'll make it to where I can actually create those, and then we'll test it. That's an idea. <laughs> All right, so what I've got going on, Um, I, last episode I started witchery. I, I went ahead and made this nice little oven over here, which is pretty cool. And look, it's even using the lava crystal, just like my other furnace over here. This furnace is currently sitting empty. I'm probably going to power that one off of, uh, of, of, of um, where is it? Not charcoal. I put it in here. I put it in here. Where did I put it? I put it right there. Yeah. I'll probably power that one off of coal. Here, put that one back up in there. Put me a block. There we go. So let's go put some coal in that one. Just because, you know, this way, you know, if my blood network is getting low, I can just fill that. But I believe, I do believe my blood network is not low. Look, 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 look. Two, nine, two, four, nine, seven, five. So I've been actually working my butt off, really, to fill my blood network. And obviously that is not full. So let's throw some more in there. You got to be careful with this part. You don't want to commit. There we carry. 25. Okay, so now it's at full. Okay, so there we go. So it is at full now. Do, do, do. So I was really close to full. I've also made an imbued slate. I, I do have this at the, the altar is at a tier three. So it is just the right size to make an imbued slate. I'm, I'm a little bit baffled by something. And, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Blood. This blood, large bloodstone brick. In order to craft it, according to the recipe, I need a weak blood shard. So I click on that, and I need a weak blood shard. You see my problem here? So I need this to create this. Right. So I can't just craft this thing. I've got to go and find it somewhere. Uh, I have no idea where to find it other than random chests. So I guess we're going to be wandering around and looking for that thing at some point. Uh, but that's why I made this imbued slate because I'm going to need some large bloodstone bricks in order to cap those pillars there. Um, I'm not exactly ready for it just yet, but we are going to get to it. So since I started witchery, I said, why, well, you know, let's actually dive right into witchery and see how much I can learn. So that's what's in there. Uh, this is a bunch of witchery books. Uh, we're going to create the books for witchery. Yeah, let's just do this. Just plop it over. Um, I'm not sure really put in some crafting benches in the floor here. I think that would be nice. It would help. So then I got, ain't got to run all the way back in here. Should put some in the other room too. That's what I do. All right. So this I think is the first book. I may be wrong. I mean, I may be totally off. Does this matter? No. Okay. I didn't think that that, that mattered. But this I do believe does matter. So it, it is not a shapeless recipe. This is a shaped recipe. And that creates witchcraft collecting fumes. We've got the first book. <laughs> Let's take a look at it. So this looks like an actual Minecraft book that was created. Uh, some of the other witchery books I do know do not use the same format. It uses a different format, so they're a lot more involved. But let's see. A witch's oven gives a practitioner the opportunity to collect fumes that may be produced when cooking. No kidding. We've already done that. Uh, what I'm looking for, I mean, can I smell door, but it does cook a little faster than a furnace. 
do okay so food foul fume wood foul fume cooked saplings produce wood ash and may also release the gases ash of the tree mm -hmm. so a rowan creates a whiff of magic and i knew that because i was just looking at that today but i still have not figured out how to make a rowan plant yet we, we're gonna have to work on making the rowan um oh that's the other thing hold on, hold on, hold on. i want a bookshelf we need bookshelves that's what we need I need some bookshelves. Let's grab that. Do I have... Do I have some half slabs? I don't see any half slabs in here. I see some flint, and I really need to reorganize in here. Why do I have cobblestone in here? Cobble goes over here. Jeez. Okay. I'm totally unorganized here. We even got some great... Okay, I thought it was smooth stone, but no. It's not... Okay, um, nope, I don't see any half slabs, so it looks like I'll have to make those. I'm gonna have to make some half slabs. Half slabs. Now, so a bookshelf, and yes, I've gotta look this up just to make sure. Yep, thought so. Okay. Yeah, if I, if there's so many recipes. I mean, I really do not believe that any one person can memorize all the recipes that are in this game. It's flipping impossible, I think. I, I don't think that it is quite possible. Oh, wait, these are two different things. Dark oak, oh yeah, they are. All right, so tell you what, let's go ahead. Actually, I should be able to craft it with that. That's okay. Eek. So let's see, we're gonna, three of these here. Take three of these here. And three of these here. <gasps> It doesn't like it. Nope, it wants it to be all the same. It's freaking chunk. Man, you couldn't, you couldn't do it better than that. All right, all right, we'll fix it. We'll fix your knuckle. I'm telling you, see a couple work, couple crafting benches in there, crafting tables in there, and I'd have been okay. So we'll make some of these, plop them up there. Do, 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 do. There we go. That's a bookshelf. Um, actually, let's go ahead and make two since we've got enough for that. And that makes a second one. And will this... Let me do that. I probably won't, but hey, let's try. Yep, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Doesn't hurt to try though, right? I mean, hey, you never know. All right, so we're gonna take this. Where do we want to put it? Let's put it in here. Yeah, that's what I think. Let's see, put it against. That's, I got more walls on, on those. Let's see, I got three, four. Yeah, we'll place them right in here. Boom, boom, just like that. All right, and that's where I'm gonna put my witchery books at for now. So we're gonna throw this one right up in there, and let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff here that I'm not using. I thought I had more than that. I could have swore. I didn't. There's no way I just used that much. None. I, I, I had like a whole bunch of them there, man. Look, this can go in here. Why is this? Like, see, I am totally misplacing everything. Stuff is not going where it's supposed to be going. I got to come up with a better organism than this. This is not a working. And the flints can go in here, too. See, I, I, I'm just totally unorth, unorganized. I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the next book. Um, I don't know what this is. What I'm, I think what I'm, what I'm thinking this one might be. Oops, this one might be the book of herbology, and I think that might be the book that I need. There, there's a, there's an herbology book. I feel like I'm in Harry Potter. Like, I'm going to the herbology class. Watch out for the mandrakes uh, distilling. Oh, bugger. Okay, well, let's read that one anyways. Check it out. Check it out. Ensure the distillery is near to the altar to get power. Um, I don't even have an altar yet, so I guess I'm not ready for this. So we're going to put this one down here. Right down there. All right, let's go grab another book and, you, and make it. I know. And why don't I just pull them all out at once, right? Because it, I'll forget what goes to what, and I'll be like all messing it all up. Yeah, just I don't know. I'm not that great. Okay, here, let's see. Ink sack. The ink sack and the feather, as far as I can tell, are the same on all of them. 
The difference is the rest of this. And I think I have this backwards. I do. Here's the herbology book. Herbology. Many common plants are used in the preparation of blues and magic. Blues. This book details those rare or exceptional plants not known to common folk. Deadly nightshade. So is this plant known and deadly poisons from it grown. It grows in tilled earth and in stages. Tall grass yields seeds. Dude, it starts with a rhyme and then it breaks up. What the heck? Work a little bit harder on that. Witchcraft, man. It should really be rhymey. Ember moss. Gil glint weed. Uh, well, I was about to say gillyweed. <laughs> glint weed. Mandrake. Snow bell. Spanish moss. Wild bramble. Ender bramble. Void bramble. Water autochoke. Grasper. Critter snare. Blood poppy. Wispy cotton. All the stuff. Man, there's a lot. That's what I'm looking for. Rowan sapling. See, Rowan or Mountain Ash has an affinity with magic. Other trees seldom match. Mutate the saplings from another plant with Mutandus. Mutandus. Oh, wait. It looks like I need Mutandus for quite a few of these. Uh -huh. It just says mutate the sapling from another plant with Mutandus. And that's several of these say the same thing. So... We just have to get the sapling and mutandus. So how do we get mutandus? That's the question. I think that was in this first book here. Collecting fumes. Hold on. Check it out. Uh, mutandus. Uh, no. All right. We can do this. Oh, I forgot an in. Tan. Mutandus. So I need a witch's cauldron, and into the witch's cauldron go mandrake root, exhaled of the horned one, and an egg. What's this mutandus extremis? Oh, so then I can throw in another word to make it extreme. Okay. All right, all right. So something is going to tell us about the cauldron. Exhale of the horned one. Horned one. Uh, oak sapling is wood ash, and exhale of the horned one. So I didn't already have that one. No, I don't. Oh, did I? Did I? Did I? Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't. Okay, so let's go get some oak saplings. Uh, is that an oak sapling? That is a dark oak sapling, I believe. No, that one's not dark soap. So this is a regular oak sapling. Yes, there it is. And I have only a couple of those left. So let's take four of them. And... Ooh. So I do need the clay jar in order to capture it. Okay, so how did I make the clay jar? <laughs> I'm all messing up everything. I don't know how to do anything here. Hold on. It's a soft clay jar. Okay, a bunch of clay, and then we cook that. I should probably just make a ton of those things. That's what it's looking like. I should probably just make a ton of them. Yeah, let's just make a ton of them. So we're going to take these bad boys just like this. I can make... 44 of them. Hmm. Any use for the soft ones? Let's see. Nope. Nope. So that's the only use. So yeah, I might as well cook them all. Cook them all. Um, except I can't cook them in the witch's oven. No big deal. Let's throw them in here. Oh, throw half of them in here. No, 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 no. Uh, Seven, eight. I'll throw eight of them in there. I'll throw the rest of them over here. That way it co cooks up a little faster. Let's take this, and we're going to throw this in here. Can I stack those in there? That's a good question. Let's find out. Find out, Sonny. Yes, we can. Ha ha. There you go, Sonny. We'll just stack a bunch of them in there. Cook them all and stack them in there. We're good. We're good. All right. So, but that gives us the four for the oak saplings that we're burning now. So this should make that one I just saw. And I don't remember. Uh, for the mutandus. So then I still have to make a witch's cauldron. So that's okay. Oh, yep, there it is. Exhale of the horned one. Yep, buddy. We got some wood ash. And I really need to rename this red bag. Where is it? There we go. We're going to rename this red bag to... So what is this? Yeah, we're just going to call it Witchery Bag. Witchery Bag. So this way we can start just start storing our 
witchery stuff right on in there. Uh, I'm going to move it around so I can have my exploration bag last. And since we have a witchery bag, let's throw our books in there too. Or at least the ones we're using. Maybe, maybe I'll throw them all in there for now, just for the heck of it. Because I don't have a whole lot in there. We're kind of buying on time here. So I, mean two, I got two out of that. Oh, so it must be kind of rare. Oh. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, well, we got wood, wood ash in there. Uh, we've got that. And the exhale of the horned one. Ooh, what else did I need? I need a witch's cauldron. So let's see, apothecary cauldron. Witch's brews, that's another book I'm going to have to make. Witch's cauldron, and then that's the Minecraft cauldron. So let's grab this one. It doesn't tell me. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we're going to have to rely on a book to make that, I guess. So let's just go ahead and make the rest of the books that we have. Um, one of these might get lucky. We might get lucky with one of these here. Let's just pull all this stuff out here that I know where it goes. Um, put these books right there. I have a use for those. That goes on the bottom. This is going on the top. And this is going on the top of one of the recipes. But I don't remember which one. Oh, my God. Now I'm all messed up. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. We're going to put that right there. We're going to put this right here. And we're going to put this right here. And I do believe the dirt goes on top. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. So then we're going to put the, that on top. Okay, that makes the book of biomes. All right, I'm continuing on that. We put this here. We put the wood ash up top. And that makes conjuration and fetishes. Now we're going to put this dirt on top. And that makes us witches brews. Now grab this book of biomes. We're going to throw it right back up in there and cover it around with some stone and that makes the extended book of biomes yeah I did a little bit of research can you tell oh, so there aren't very many books left um let's see victory Doo -doo. all right so as we scroll through this is the second page let's see collecting fumes distilling circle magic I was not able to do because circle magic requires the whiff of magic which I don't have any Rowan's yet so we'll have to Work on getting that one later. Uh, brews and infusions we just did. A book of biomes we just did. Symbology, I don't yet. I don't know. Let's go see if I have an int twig. I might have an int twig. I don't think so though. I think I have to fight an int to get an int twig. Yeah, no, I don't. I didn't think so. It doesn't look like I would have one of those. Okay, herbology we just made. So we don't have the symbology book. Scroll down one more. And then there's Witch's Brews, which we just got right there. Oh, wait, there's another one up here. Conjuration Fetishes just made that one as well. Yep, 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 yep. So I think that's it. I mean, there aren't very many books left in here that I don't have. So I should be able to come up with anything I want for witchery. Let's hope so. Uh, real quick, let's grab this Witch's Brews. Does that show me... Introduction. Fill a cauldron to a brim with water or lighter. A witch's cauldron is made by placing a normal cauldron in the world and using anointing paste on it. Okay, well. Oh, well. Belladonna, Mandrake, Water Artichoke, and Snowbell. Belladonna, Mandrake, Artichoke. I think I have some of those. I think I have those seeds. So we got... Pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, mandrake seeds. Um, so there's mandrake. I need some belladonna. I don't see him that one. I don't see you there. All right, we got belladonna. So there's some belladonna. There's snowbell. Right there. I think the other one was water artichoke. Water artichoke. Which I don't see in any of those. So I think I have some outside. Let's go harvest some. Water artichoke. It's something I haven't. And see, I'm still missing one plant. I haven't not found one particular plant. And I'm going to have to look for that one at some point later. So I need to get all my plants filled up. So plop, 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 plop. I really want to keep some of this seed here. So we're going to keep... 
All right, we're gonna. Ch I'm just gonna keep those four um, as back off, and then later next time I, next time I harvest this, then I'll fill out this line over here as well. Um, real quick, if you don't know, uh, I'm gonna let you know. Mandrakes, just like in Harry Potter, you don't want to dig them up during the daytime. Uh, if you do dig them up during the daytime, you're gonna have a small battle. So come out at night, dig them up at night, and they'll be sleeping. It'll be a lot easier. God, these hiccups will go away. Urgh. All right, so we put these four seeds together. And that makes the anointing paste. Okay. So I guess now I need to make the Minecraft cauldron. So I need a bunch of iron for that. And let's see, that is thomium ingot. So there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should make that. I have buckets, right? Yeah, I've got buckets. I was like, oh, do I have any buckets? Yes, I have buckets. So we're going to make a cauldron right here. Poof. Um, I guess I can place the cauldron over here. I don't know. Um, I'm up. I'm going to go ahead and place it in here. And if I need to move it later, uh, if you guys don't mind, let me know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to, I need to anoint this sucker. Ready? Poof. Nice. My first witchery's cauldron. Okay. Let's fill it up. Get some water. Water. Water, water everywhere. Not a drop to drink. That. I don't want to accidentally pour my water all over the place. Oh, wow. That's going to take several buckets. Hold on. Hold up. I did not expect that. So let's just go ahead and grab several buckets then that should be more than enough it looks like witches cauldrons takes a lot of water nice at least i'll make sure i have plenty of water going into it All right, so it takes three buckets of water. Fair enough. We'll just put the other buckets in here. And the empties. Not as well. Throw them all in there. Okay, so we are on a, a roll here. Look, I got some water artichoke globes there. So we can put those away. And we'll put this water artichoke seeds in here too. And I'll place them right there. So we have them. Now the water artichokes don't... I'll just say, place them right there. I don't have, don't currently have a place for them to go to. Uh, I need this back out. Thank you. Uh, what else was I making? All right, so we, seriously, don't mess with me. All right, so what else was I making? Oh, I don't know. Um, the Rowan. Da 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 da. Uh, the, uh, I'm making a rowan plant. See, I'm losing track of where I'm at. What am I doing? Oh, my God. All right, let's check this out. So I've got that. Fair enough. Back. Um, introductions. When the water boils... Oh, wait. Fill a collagen to the brim with water and light a fire beneath. When the water boils, throw in your ingredients for either brewing, rituals, or crafting. Okay, so I need to put water... Put a fire under it. Okay, so... If I need fire under it, that means I'm going to need a piece of netherrack down there. And I'm going to need tools to light the fire. Oh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. This not good. I just thought about that. It's if I light a fire there, my house is made of wood. So I'm going to burn my house down. We're going to have to move that outside. Yeah, we're going to have to move that outside. Either that or I'm going to put some gravel around this. Ooh. That's what I'll do. Yeah, buddy. Hold on. Hold up. I got the plan. Where's my axe? Give me an axe. All right. So we got the witches thing there. Let's go ahead. I'm going to place it right. I'm going to put it out here in the main floor. That's what I think. We're out here in the main floor. How about, how about that? Right here. So this is where I'm going to put it right there. 
We're going to dig around it, and we're going to make gravel around it. This way, I don't have to worry too much. Let's grab that pick. Grab me a pick right there. All right. All right, so now I can put the nether rack down here in the bottom. And then let's go grab gravel. Where's the gravel? Gravel would be, gravel would be in here. Uh, bingo. So I can put gravel around it. And that'll act as a buffer to protect the house. Then we'll light this sucker up. I, I need something to place the cauldron against. Right there. So we'll light that on fire. Grab my cauldron. Place it. And we've got that. So now we got to put three buckets of water in, which, ironically, we do have. All right, so now we got three buckets of water in there, so it is full. I wonder if it'll boil away. I don't know. Will that just stay there, or will it boil away after a while? I have no way of knowing, but I... Yeah, whatever. See, I think, personally, if you're going to force us to put fire under it, it should have, like, a different anim picture so that something is visibly holding it up. I don't know. Just my opinion. Uh, all right, so we've got that going. Let's see what else it says. So, brewing. Use a glass bottle to retrieve your potion when the cauldron sputters. Certain ingredients may need to draw power from an altar. More brews may be recovered as your expertise grows. Oh, so I'm going to need to put this near an altar. See, now, you know, nothing told me this. Okay, so, cauldron, there's cauldron rituals? Full cauldron may instead be used to cast the effect as a ritual. Oh, well, that's cool. Let's see, other rituals capacity. Each have a space requirement. Adds these ingredients in order to increase a brew's capacity. Okay. I will have to look at all that later but right now we are looking for very specific things what is it I don't want to look at biomes let's go back to my witchery bag still in collecting fumes herbology so let's check out herbology real quick I'm gonna throw all that in there and we can get rid of this gravel and everything that we don't need anymore so that can go in there that and that and there and this go right there let's check this book all right so what i need is that so i need mutandus that's right okay so i have to keep looking back like what am i doing mutandus so to make the mutandus i need mandrake root exhaled horn one and egg all right, so I need an egg. We need this, and we need this. So I imagine I just put it right in there, right? So let's let's find out. Let's where's where's the witchery back? Witchery. I'm gonna put this back in here because I need to find out about this. So crafting. Create or imbue items with magical properties. If a suitable combination of ingredients stored in the cauldron, creation process will begin automatically. Use ritual circles to reduce power costs. Mutandus. Use mutandus on simple plants to mutate them into another, perhaps undiscovered species. Okay, so I just throw this stuff in there and it'll, it'll create mutandus then, right? Okay. So let's put them in order of way I have to throw them in there. I believe that's the order. So we just toss it. Okay. Okay. And then it does some weird mystical crap there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It did it. It did it. Okay. We have Mutandus. Dun, 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 dun. Now, I don't know what plants to mod with, so let's pull one of these. 
and I imagine we just put it up here with some mutandus in it. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Hold up. So use mutandus on simple plants to mutate them. So maybe I grow, maybe I plant them and then use it, huh? So let's try that. Let's try that. So we're going to come out here. Uh, we're going to do it right over here. I think this is the perfect place. Hello, people. Right there. And then we use... Gwentweed. Okay. Um... Okay, well, I am baffled. All right, well, I don't know exactly know what I'm doing here, but uh, we just made a whole bunch of different plants change into a whole bunch of different plants. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess we'll do it again. I, have, I can actually only do it one more time. I don't have enough ingredients. So, I don't even have an egg. Well... Bugger. Looks like I'm going to have to go egg collecting. All right, well, that's going to be it for this, this show anyways. We're out of time. Uh, as always, just a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. I really do appreciate your comments, too, by the way, because I know a lot of you guys, you know, you leave comments that are really helpful to me because I'm still learning here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm learning witchery. I'm learning blood magic. I'm learning thalmcraft. I'm learning a lot of stuff here, and it's taken me a while to learn some of it. I will admit that. But I'm working really hard at it. So your comments, you know, you you guys have been leaving comments to tell me, hey, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that. I really do appreciate it. It does help. So thank you. All right. See you in the next episode.